Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Len Schwartz. Welcome back to the Cut the Yo-Yo podcast. This episode is for my doctors, professionals, business owners, and entrepreneurs out there who want their phone and inbox to keep on ringing. Because when the phone rings and email orders chime, business is good. When the phone doesn't ring and you're not generating more orders, you're in trouble. That's the epitome of the yo-yo. Ups and downs and ups and downs of business. It's time to cut the yo-yo. End the ups and downs and take your business out of the uncontrollable and into the predictable. So you never go a day without leads, referrals, or sales again. I'm Dr. Len Schwartz, and today I'm going to share with you some incredibly effective, high-level communication strategies that you can use with your prospects to reverse the chase and accelerate the lead to new client process. This is how we cut the yo-yo. What does every business owner want? Every business owner wants a dependable way to generate a steady flow of new business without paid advertising. So how do you generate massive exposure in your market, become the go-to expert in your area, and never go a day without leads, referrals, or sales again? Those are the questions, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Dr. Len Schwartz. It's time to cut the yo-yo. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you <laughs> to uh, my live interactive. You get to ask me questions. Some of you have already uh, presented and sent questions. Some people that couldn't be here have sent in some questions, and so I'll be reading some of that. But before I get to, thanks, David, before I get to any of that, um, this is Dr. Len Schwartz here. I have been working with you, your colleagues since 1999. I'm not good at a lot of things. I'm great at a couple of things. If you've been following me for a little while, then you know that uh, I help people put what are called new client generation systems or new patient generation systems in place or new customer generation systems. More specifically, no cost new client or new patient or new customer generation systems, which generate leads, prospects, and new business on a continuous basis. It's called Evergreen all year long from January to December, regardless of what's happening in the economy or who is in the White House. And I share all that with you because that's one thing I'm really good at. And then the other thing that I'm really good at is helping people get their prospects to understand why they are better slash different, why they can't find anybody else like them, why they can't find anybody else that can help them with their services and solutions. And more or equally as important uh, as all of that is getting your prospects to chase you every step of the way until you are willing to accept them as your new patient, client, or customer. And when you're the go-to recognized expert and a prospect knows they're talking to the best of the best and they know they can't find anybody else like you, uh, you can expect to hear what do we need to do to get started a whole lot faster than what you're probably hearing right now. So with all of that, Thanks for letting me get that out, by the way. Um, I wanna open it up and if you have a question, um, I will unmute you if you have a mic or I can just read your question before I get to the people that sent in questions. If you have a question, do me a favor, just type it in the text chat or there's a topic you wanna ask me about. Like I said, I will unmute you and you can ask me any question. You can also let me know if you have a specific prospect that's on the hook right now or in the hopper or been in the works for some time and you want to know an incredibly ethical, moral, easy way to get them to ask you what you need to do to get started right now, I will open up your mic and, and tell you exactly what to do. So I'll give it a second before I start reading some of the questions that have already come in. Joe, I am unmuting you only because <laughs> I know you have a mic, and so I just wanted to sort of unmute you as a courtesy. Joe, do you have any specific questions for me? I don't know if it's a, a specific question. I guess it's uh, in terms of a query or, or, or in terms of what we're encountering, which is we're transitioning more from, you know, an insurance based practice to more of cash services. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, you know, we, we want to do a better job in uh, closing uh those those different niches and we have a couple of them that uh, which are all cash so 
we have two, two, uh, two levels of that, meaning that we do some Facebook marketing and we also find that um, we get a, a certain number of leads per month. Some of those people uh, will pre-book and most of those that pre-book will show. And obviously, you know, we do our best to close those. And yet there's a, a larger, you know, untapped reservoir, if you will, of people that our lead generation show that they're interested in our services, but don't um, don't take the you know the call to action to pre-book or to come in, et cetera. So I still feel like that's an opportunity. So I want to do a couple of different things. One is close more of the people that do come in, get more of the people that pre-book to show, even though it's still it's about eighty percent, but it should could, should be a hundred percent. Uh, and then also that larger reservoir of people that of lead generator leads that said, I'm interested. And I think, uh, maybe because of your life circumstances, uh, didn't take the opportunity to book. So I still want to just leave them in the hopper. I want to go and go after that. So it's different levels of, uh, of, uh, of the problem, if you will. Yeah. So, um, there were a few different things that you talked about there, but let me, if I can, the sale actually starts to happen before you have a conversation with them. I imagine that people are reaching out because they're experiencing some sort of pain. I imagine your Facebook ads could be about headaches or back pain or whatever. And so you don't, what you don't know is how anxious they are to get rid of it. Would you say that's true? Uh, sure, definitely. Okay. So, for example, one of the ways that I help chiropractors accelerate that good lead from Facebook to scheduling an appointment is by asking a very simple question, which is by when do you want to eliminate your back pain? And I'm just using back pain as an example here. And by the way, of oh, course, I, I, I don't know, you know what you include in your dialogue. So, but there's a question. Hey, Bob, great to hear from you. Thank you for uh, submitting your information. Before we schedule any time to talk, can I ask? By when do you want to eliminate your blank pain? Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I have that question in advance, where again, most of your colleagues, <laughs> most, most chiropractors, plastic surgeons, dentists, you name it, they're so busy trying to get them in and sell their chiropractic, dental, plastic surgery services, treatments, and solutions that they don't know where this person is along the path of I'm raising my hand, I want to do something today, or I was just thinking about it because every once in a while my back hurts. So asking a, mm -hmm. asking a question like, hey, name, great to hear from you. Before we set time aside to talk, can I ask, by when do you want to eliminate your back pain? Mm -hmm. Now their answer is going to tell you everything you need to know. I call those fork in the road questions. Because if your prospect says, hey, doc, uh, thanks. I'm thinking anywhere between the next three and six months. <laughs> Bob, great to hear from you. That sounds perfect. Feel free to reach out when, in three to six months as soon as you're ready to eliminate your back pain. Uh -huh. Versus somebody who says, Doc, I've been dealing with this for nine months. I can't play with my kids. I can't work. I'm ready. I want to eliminate it right now. Well, that's a different path, right? Yes. That's a different conversation. That's a follow-up where, Bob, thanks for letting me know. Um, there are several ways that, or there are several different treatment options available to you. I don't know enough about you. Do you think it makes sense to schedule a call so I can learn more and tell you what you can do to eliminate your back pain now? You're either going to get yes or you're going to get no. I'm willing to bet that 9 out of 10 say yes. So then the next, the next, part of the, the next step along that path is a conversation. During that conversation, Joe, you'll certainly ask the typical or traditional questions, age, history, what has started the symptoms, all that other good stuff. And then sure. this is important now. Part of that conversation has to be why you are uniquely qualified, why they can't find anybody else that can help them like you can, and oh. why the services and solutions and treatment techniques that you offer in your practice are better slash different than everybody else. Now, I know those are three big requests of me and I don't know you, so I can't really give you 
personal examples, but do you think you might be able to find a way using your education, your training, your knowledge, your skills, your experience, any designations or special degrees? You can incorporate all of that in a way where it doesn't feel like you're bragging. It's you informing or being what I call a provider of insight so they know they're talking to the right guy. Uh, yeah, it sounds like there's two two different aspects there. One is the qu asking the questions, so obviously the, you're getting more knowledge of what their you know their goal, their concern is, their problem is, and obviously uh, therefore you can uh, address that. And then also uh, having the uh, the you know communicating the authority uh that you have in a sense kind of showing as you said being uh, uniquely qualified so um I'm, I'm thinking as you were talking that in some ways having perhaps built into our marketing which is primarily facebook some type of uh survey perhaps uh that can ask them you know other than just seeing you know a, a, a landing page and signing up having maybe some additional questions in there, which can be, you know, uh, can identify, you know, more of a hot lead and how to, you know, definitely um, uh, reach out to them. And then obviously uh, built into some type of, you know, authority uh, so that when they come in, uh, they are in a sense already sold in, in many ways that um, they know they're in the right place and, and et cetera, rather than having as the doctor have the burden of, uh, you know, doing all of that on, on, you know, on the first visit, et cetera, you know, which is, uh, you want to take a history, you want to do an exam, but then you got to explain to them a report of findings or whatever. So, you, you know, it's, it, the more you can uh, build that into your marketing and, and pre-education, I think the better off you are. Yeah. So I think to your point, I, have a multi-step process and some people initially think that it's going to take longer by taking a prospect down a path a multi-step path but in reality this actually accelerates the lead to new client process because instead of trying to quote unquote close a totally cold person who has raised their hand i call them hand raisers and said yeah i'm interested instead of, instead of trying to go from i'm interested to sign on the dotted line there's a process and hoops that a prospect will willingly jump through in order to get what you have to offer, which is the desired result, the, the what they want to achieve, receive, or experience. And if you take just a little bit of extra time, like you said, to be able to include as part of that process, great to hear from you. And I don't, it could be a survey. It, one little question at a time can take them right down the path to wanting to schedule with you as soon as possible to learn more about how you can help them. Mm -hmm. Right. Does that help? Yes, it does. Sure. Thank you. Okay. You are so welcome. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, mute you, Joe. You know, David, I noticed you said uh, the client will almost always say uh, they want to fix a physical or financial problem now. I think that's probably mostly, David, if you want me to unmute you, uh, just let me know and, and you can either follow up with that or ask me a question. You would think, right? You would think uh, and, and it seems logical that if a person takes the time to fill out a form and express interest or become a hand raiser and let you know they're interested in you helping them, you would think that the majority, overwhelming majority, nine out of 10 would say they want to fix it now. I will tell you that that's not reality though. It makes theoretical sense that someone would say now, but I have not found that to be the case. And one of the reasons why is because people are afraid of being hard sold or hard closed, especially if you're a financial guy or girl, and you already know that that's true. So one of the ways to eliminate that feeling of being uh, hard sold or hard closed is to do what I talked about a minute ago. And you may have noticed that part of that initial response is, hey, Barry, great to hear from you. Before we set up any time to talk, there's your takeaway right there. You're not anxious. You're not trying to get them in the office. You're try not trying to get them on the phone. You're literally saying, before we do anything or before we set up a time to talk, can I ask, by when do you want to 
you know, generate blank or achieve blank or receive blank or whatever it is that you do and whatever your, the desired result is that the prospect wants. By asking that question and by volunteering that you're not willing to do anything until you get the answer to that question, that in and of itself will separate you from most of your colleagues who are absolutely attacking these prospects, trying to do what I said before, which is pre-schedule, pre-close, pre-sell. I get it, by the way. Everybody wants to close everybody quickly by slowing it down, by taking your time, by taking it away at each part of the process. Again, nothing immoral or unethical about it. Just asking questions that you need the answers to in order to decide the viability of this prospect or potential new client. That's going to help you have fewer, but more or better or higher quality conversations with prospects who are in fact chasing you by answering each question along the path in order to get to what is a, a logical close, a logical process where they ask you, what do we need to do to get started, Joe? What do I need to do in order to get start under care? What do we have to do? And by the way, as an aside, and I hope this helps, this is part endearing process. This is part expert positioning. This is reversing the chase. This is a process that I refer to. And of course, there's a much more in-depth process, but an RTB, a rapid trust building process. And what is the foundation of every friendship and relationship you have? And of course, the answer is trust. We're just a society now that just does not, <laughs> does not, we don't trust each other. And so how do we establish our expert positioning? How do we really truly accelerate and build that trust to get to know, like, and trust you process? It's by doing what I'm talking about right now. If you are the best of the best, you don't typically pounce on every lead that comes in in a way where it seems like you're desperate, seems like you're anxious, seems like you've got all the time in the world, which leads me to two other points. I keep going further down the rabbit hole here. Don't thank people for their time. I teach this all the time. Now stick with me. I'm not telling you to be mean. You're going to say, but Len, I think that's a nice thing to say. It's a considerate thing to say. Here's the deal. I'm not telling you to be mean. You can tell people it was great to talk to them. It was great to hear from them. It was great to meet with them. But when you thank someone, what you're doing is you are shifting the balance of power to them. You're saying their time is more valuable than yours. So when you thank someone, could be a, a center of influence, a referral relationship, a prospect, you're getting, you're telling them your time was more valuable than mine. People, your prospects, patients, clients, and customers should be thanking you. Aren't you the prize in that relationship? If you agree that the answer is yes, that you are the prize, then yes, people should be thanking you. Yes, yes, yes. You guys with me? Here's a question, one of my favorites. And that is, what if somebody wants to talk, what if I talk to somebody and they say they need to talk to their spouse? How do you handle that? Well, in the same way that I just went through the pre-conversation steps with Joe, this is also handled on the front end of a phone call or face-to-face -face meeting. What do I mean by that? <laughs> there's, there's a couple of things I want to share when in the same way that I asked or told Joe and all of you to make sure that you're always talking to somebody who wants to get the desired result right now, not in three months or six months or a year from now, when you're talking to someone, the magic question or the million dollar question in some cases is, Hey, before we dive in and have this conversation, is there anybody else that you need to talk to in order to make a decision about blank, about eliminating your back pain, about uh, starting with a financial plan or retirement plan, or about having this plastic surgery, about having your nose done, you know, whatever it is for whoever you are. If you're a dentist, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is you do and whoever you are, is there anyone else that you need to check with or talk to in order to make an educated decision about getting started today? 
And if the answer is yes, I usually talk to my wife about this before I do anything. Perfect. Here's what I'd like to do, Bob. Why don't we talk a little bit first so I can learn more? And then instead of going into great detail with you today, I'm going to invite you to have your wife join us on a call or join us in the office so that the three of us can have a deep dive conversation together. So everybody's on the same page, all of your questions can get answered, and then you can make an educated decision. Does that sound okay with you? He or she, if they said her, yes, she has to check with her husband, have no other choice but to say yes, because they just volunteered that they have to check with their spouse before they can say yes to you. You've now handled this at the beginning, which is where it's meant to be handled or supposed to be handled, rather than spending hours or even multiple calls or meetings with someone there. You handled at the beginning. What I teach in my Lead and Sales Conversion Mastery Program is this. The key is to become a great opener not a great closer because when you're a great opener, you don't have to worry about being a great closer because prospects will close you. So, so much of what I teach is just that, how to be a great opener. So Joe, with your example so far, we talked about getting a lead off of Facebook and getting them to qualify themselves right away. That's being a great opener will put people into your schedule that are truly both hands in the air. Yes, I want to talk to you. Yes, I want to get rid of this now. You talk to somebody who says they have to talk to a wife at their spouse at the beginning. Well, now you have intel. Now you know. So you can save your time, save your energy, dangle some carrots with this person about what's possible for them, what you could do, how you can help them with your unique services and solutions. And then at the end of that meeting, let them get their wife on the phone or schedule with you right then and there. Let their wife know or their spouse know that they're going to schedule with you for another time to meet or talk. And then you can continue the conversation. One of the most important things I want to share with you, be mindful of sharing too much of the how you do things. Because if you tell them how you are able to do things in great detail, well, now they know too much. There may not be as much urgency to get their spouse back on the phone with you or into a meeting with you in order to continue the deep dive conversation so they can learn how you can help them get their desired results. If you're with me on being a great opener so that prospects close you and all that makes sense, just give me a why for yes. I'll take a quick break here. Just give me a why for yes. This requires a bit of a mindset shift, as you can tell. So many sales gurus are teaching people how to become great closers. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, you don't even have to do any selling at all, let alone train yourself on how to be a great closer. That's not what, and, and, and here's the deal. Sales is nothing more than getting the truth on the table. That is the goal and purpose of sales, not to close anyone. Because you'll notice there's a consistent thread here with everything I've shared so far, which is that when you can get people to give you the information that you want and need on the front end of your new relationship, that's about being a great opener, which means you'll never have to close anyone again. It'll become a natural, logical part of the sequence which I assume most of you would prefer. And by the way, as you start to take them down that path, the lead to new client process is not just accelerated, they're driving every step of the way because they understand, and I'm gonna repeat myself here, they understand why you are uniquely, uniquely qualified, how you can help them get what they want in a way that no one else can, and why they can't find anybody else with the same services and solutions as you. While David's typing this, I wanna share with all of you a quick story so you can feel the emotion of what I'm talking about. Feel the urgency and desire that I teach my clients to stimulate in the mind of the prospects. Because frankly, a lot of people don't think you can really reverse the chase the way I'm explaining. Can't create that emotional desire and that urgency to wanna work with you and hire you right now. But I'm here to tell you, it's easy. It's totally doable. And here's a story where uh, I will exemplify that entire process to, and get you 
to actually feel what I'm talking about. Here we go. Uh, David, I, will, I got your question. I will answer that in a second. I want all of you to hear me out here. I've got $100,000 in a bag in locker number 108 in LAX right now. I can prove it. And I guarantee that that money is yours if you can get to locker number 108 in LAX before 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. There will be someone standing next to that locker. If you show up at 8 o'clock, you lose the money. So I can prove to you that it's and guarantee to you that that money is there in a bag. I can guarantee you that if you get there before 8 a.m., that money in that bag in locker number 108 is yours. Now, Here's the deal. Those are the only stipulations. You got to get back, get there by then. If I were to ask all of you, anybody here need to talk to their spouse <laughs> before you leave for the airport to go buy your ticket? Anybody here want to think about it? Anybody here want me to get back to them? Yeah, call me in a couple of weeks. I'll, I'll be ready to do something then. Or anybody here want to tell me I'm not ready to move on anything right now? Thanks for calling. Or are all of you already on your way to the airport to buy a ticket to get on an airplane so that you can be in LAX by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning? <laughs> Joe says, already on my, on my way to get a ticket. Exactly. A different Joe, by the way. Here's the deal. What I just took you through is an example, a conversation where I didn't have to sell you at all. I dangled my carrot in front of you, so to speak, of $100,000 in locker number 108. I told you the rules of the game. I told you what it is that you needed to do. I guarantee you, if I was able to prove all of that to you, you would all be on your way to the airport right now. I was able to stimulate interest, deep emotional desire and urgency to get on that plane. But I, again, I'm repeating myself on purpose. You wouldn't have to think about it. You wouldn't have to call me back. I wouldn't have to call you back. You can accomplish and generate the same type of deep emotional desire, urgency, even demand for your products and services when you use this type of communication system. This is all built on human psychology. No, again, nothing unethical, nothing immoral about anything I just said or anything I would have you say. It's all about taking your prospect by the hand down a very short path where they have to close you in order for you to accept them. Let me, uh, David has a question. I have a meeting in two hours with a gentleman 72 and his 58 year old wife. Good for him. They need um, north of 40 million of life insurance to, uh, for estate protection. The gent is sick, wife is well, and they just had a close mutual friend pass away. They have really, the copy small here. They have really resisted talking about life insurance, saying they are focused on getting the husband healthy, which is unlikely to happen. Okay. They go nuts and small tax issues, but have somehow been able to ignore the 40 million the feds will yank from the three adult children, one of whom who got married. Any suggestions? Absolutely, David. I do this all the time with financial professionals. So I want to give you a question that you can ask. And the there are a couple of different questions that come to mind. And of course, this is all live and on the fly here. But what comes to my mind is, let's just say their names are Bob and Sue. I don't think you gave me their names and that's okay. Um, their names are Bob and Sue. And so one of the things that I teach is how to incorporate what it is going to cost them by not working with you. I mentioned that in my 100,000 in locker 108, what it's going, I said it will cost you. If you don't, if you get there after eight, the money is gone. You can't have it. That's what it's going to cost you if you don't get there by 8 a.m. So David, in the spirit of talking about this person, I wonder if they know what it is going to cost them personally in taxes or what it's going to cost their children in say capital gains taxes or regular taxes if they don't have this insurance to protect them. And so just as one example, and I'm gonna give you the exact question to ask, is let's just say they, they haven't thought about that or you haven't talked about that or they don't know what it's gonna cost them or their kids. 
let's just say, for example, and again, I'm going to make this up, um, Bob and Sue, uh, do you realize that if something should happen and you don't have insurance in place to protect you, do you know that it's probably going to cost your children between five and seven million dollars in taxes? The answer is going to be yes or no. If they say yes, they know, or they say no, it doesn't matter how they answer, David. The next question is, does that concern you? Does that concern you? And that's another one of my fork in the road questions. Okay, does that concern you? Because their answer will tell you everything you need to know about where to take them next. So do you, does it bother you that your children, if you don't have this insurance in place, does it, does it, uh, do you realize that your children are going to have to pay five to seven, or they're going to lose five to seven million right off the top in taxes? And then wait for their answer. Yes, I do know that. Or no, I didn't know that. Either way, does that concern you? Some people will be like, I don't care what the kids have to pay. I don't give a shit what those kids are going to have to pay. Most, 98 out of 100 will say, yes, that does concern us. Perfect. Do you want to put a financial solution in place that will prevent your children from having to pay that five to seven million in taxes? And it's going to be yes or it's going to be no. Okay, so David, you just said those kids will lose $40 million. Unbelievable. So that's your question, David. You're going to ask them right off the bat, are they aware that their children will lose $40 million? You're going to get a yes or you're going to get a no, but it doesn't matter. You're going to ask, does that concern you? I'm willing to bet that their answer is yes. But if the answer is no, well, then <laughs> it may come back to them. They may be the ones that are concerned or the wife may be concerned that she's going to lose the 40 million if she's the beneficiary and the same question. Now, if it's for the husband, here's the second fork in the road question, which is, Bob, if something should happen to you, um, is it important to you that your wife is able to keep the 40 million? Different question asked in a different way, same result. And by what I mean by same result is, He's going to tell you whether he cares about his wife keeping the 40 million. And I'm willing to bet if he says no, there's going to, you're going to have a bigger problem in your office or on the phone than that. So I'm willing to bet it is important to him. There was a second fork in the road question. Is it important to you? Where he says, yes, it is important to me that she's able to keep the 40 million and continue to live in the way she's become accustomed. Perfect. I have a unique solution that will help your wife keep the 40 million. I have a unique solution that will help your kids get the 40 million, not lose the 40 million. Would you like to know how to accomplish that goal? Or would you like to know how to get that done? Or would you like to know how your wife can keep the 40 million should something happen to you? You get the idea. I'm painting a picture here with the question and it's always attached to the, to the desired goal. Now, it says, dad is uninsurable. This is about after the wife passes, husband not expected to live very long. David, I totally get it. Um, obviously, you know, this is on the fly here. It's the same strategy of what concerns them or what's important to them and what they need to do with you in order to help them keep as much of the money as possible. Give me a why if that, give me a yes if that makes sense. Same strategy, same type of communi high level communication. You want them to tell you it's important to them. You want them to tell you that yes, they're concerned about it so that you can come in and save the day and tell them how you can help them. So you just said wife will be the key. Absolutely, husband has been in denial. Very good input from you, thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. That's It's as simple as that. No hard selling, no selling in fact included. If everybody else on the call gets that, tell me if you felt the shift. Tell me if this is making sense to you. So, you know, David, I, I wanna help you get this $40 million insurance policy or whatever it is, but notice no selling required. They'll sell you. They'll tell you, what do we need to do to lock this in, David? Because they are concerned about it. It is important to them. They want it, not you.
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Thank you for the feedback, everybody. And thank you, David, for, for that question and that feedback as well. That's the power here, folks, of being able to ask the right questions in the right way, in the right order, in the right sequence, so to speak, so that your prospect go takes you right down the path to wanting the next thing, wanting to learn more about how they can get what they want, not you. As an aside, that's where 90% of your colleagues self-sabotage and kill the sale. They're so busy trying to sell their services and their solutions that they forget it's not about them. It's about the prospect and talking to the prospect, educating the prospect, getting the prospect to understand that what they want, you are able to help them with in a way that no one else can. By the way, I don't even think I've mentioned this yet, but just so you know, I have a lead and sales conversion mastery process. This is all in what's called the lead and sales conversion mastery training program. I teach the step-by-step -step process and all the different variables that can exist and the sequence and the questions and the expert positioning and how to create that urgency. So although there's nothing for sale today, I just want everybody to know it exists and you can flip a switch and learn how to do this in just a few days if uh, this is something that anybody here is interested in. I have time for one more question and I'd rather do this live than read off of uh, one of the emails just because I want to reward you guys for being here. Are you guys seeing the value of being able to describe and define and explain what it's going to cost them by not working with you now? David says, yes, one thing about them is that they are so wealthy that it hasn't really mattered. The overall, like, okay, lost the dollars. I, I get it. Um, thank you, Joe, by the way, for saying yes. Um, you know, David, that's one thing you can't control. You can't decide how important 40 million is to them because <laughs> it's not about you. Notice another theme here. It's not about you. It's about them. What you need to find is what is important to them about losing the 40 million. Maybe it's not them, but maybe they don't want to, uh, they don't want their kids to lose that. Maybe they give to charities. Maybe the, a charity they work with will lose a percentage or a portion of that. I don't know enough. Your job is to find out what is important to them or what is of concern to them so they know what they're going to lose so that you can sell them a solution for that. To reverse the chase, to get that deep emotional wow moment, that aha moment, when they tell you, David, that's what I need. That's what we're looking for. That's what I want to do. In order to do that, and that's the magic part of what I teach, in order to get somebody there, you've got to take them down the path so you can learn what's in, you can tell them what's in it for them, learn what's important to them, communicate what they're going to lose or what it's going to cost them or both if they don't work with you. And that's how you generate that emotion, that urgency, that desire that reverse the chase anxiety and say to you, David, will you accept us? Can we get this done today? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And by the way, whether you're a chiropractor, dentist, plastic surgeon, you own a gym, you're a financial professional, attorney, plumber, electrician, you own a barbershop, it doesn't matter. All of this is equally as true for all of you. You don't have to be doctor, you don't have to be a professional. I assume you're a business owner if you're following me. This is the this is how valuable it can be for you to be able to master this process of getting people to chase you for more information, more insight, more greater understanding, greater clarity. It's by the way, someone uh, just asked um, that they they want to know like how do I prevent someone from telling me at the end of a meeting or two, can I get back to you? Or can you call me back? I'm just not ready right now. You must have joined late. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> uh, that goes back to the question that I talked about at the very beginning. By when, when you initially talk to somebody, even if they're an internet-based lead or whatever, if they, they're a referral, they come to you, a, a normal first or second or third question is, by when do you want to blank? 
do that, achieve that, generate that, receive that, eliminate that, whatever makes sense for them. At that moment, they don't know it, but they're telling you how important it is for them right now. Somebody who tells you, yeah, you know, in a few months, I think that's going to be great. Great. Call me back then. Somebody who says now, and, and here's the deal. All right, let's talk about this. Somebody, somebody who says, yeah, I'm, I want to, I want to eliminate this right now. I want to fix this right now. Perfect. They get to continue talking to you. So what you'll find is that the overwhelming majority of people who say now, believe me, it's true that where you take them through this process, the way in which I've described it to you so far today, when you get to the end, very few people will say, you know, I'm not ready to move on this right now. Or can you call me back in a few months? Or can I call you back in a few months? Cause they've already told you they want to do it now. But here's the deal. If somebody should say that to you, even after this short path, this short process, it is totally appropriate. And here's what I recommend you say. Uh, you know, Bob, I'm a little confused at the very beginning of our conversation or our first conversation, I asked you, by when do you want to fix this? And your answer was right now. Can I ask, what am I missing? What am I missing? And let them talk. Here's the deal. And this is, again, this is important. Instead of doing what most of your colleagues do, which is trying to force, trying to convince, trying to hard sell, you're asking a totally appropriate, non-salesy question delivered in a tone that is both genuine and sincere. I don't get it. What am I missing? Remember, I told you sales is about getting the truth on the table. You want them to tell you what their objection is. You want to hear where the resistance is. And they'll probably tell you, I'm just not sure about blank or I don't, I'm not, I didn't really understand blank. And a lot of the times that's what it's all about. They just don't fully understand something. And then you have a chance to explain it, provide some clarity, get that out of the way. And then the simple question is, what else do you need to know before we get started? <laughs> that's it. So that is, I uh, thank you for asking, by the way. So th there's an example of how many different objections or resistances <laughs> you can eliminate and prevent by being a great opener. Asking those front end questions help you eliminate the back end obstacles, the back end resistance, the back end delays. It's just not going to happen for you when you put this system and this process in place. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you have any questions about the lead and sales conversion mastery training program, you can certainly feel free to email me. All of you have my email address and we can certainly talk about whether it's going to be a fit for you. So for now, I will say everybody have a great rest of your day and I look forward to talking with you soon. Bye for now. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Len again, and I want to quickly invite you to join what my clients have found to be one of the absolute best business growth acceleration systems I have ever put out to my market domination community. And it's called the five in 10 with Dr. Len. Every business owner can use this system to generate five or more new appointments with prospects in the next 10 days. You are less than 10 days away from generating at least five new appointments with quality prospects, all without any paid advertising. Some of you are less than 10 days away from your next new client, patient, or customer. Some of you are just 10 days away from adding thousands of dollars to your bank account. I created the 5 in 10 system to help you launch a new client generation campaign that generates new business in 10 days or less. No matter where you are in your business, the 5 in 10 is going to help you understand the value of using no cost new client generation campaigns so you never go a day without leads, referrals, or new clients again. So while it's fresh in your mind, stop what you're doing, head on over to www.5in10withdrlen.com. That's the number five, I-N, the number 10, with drlen.com and join the next group launching the five and 10 new client generation campaign today. You are just five to 10 days away from at least one new patient, client, or customer.